everyone. My name is Eric Wyant. Uh, I'm a principal consultant with LPA Systems, and I'm here today to share new features of IBM Cognos BI 10.2, which was just released within this past week. Uh, there's actually quite a bit to cover, so I'm going to jump right into the agenda. Uh, we'll go over some notes on architecture. No major changes here. Um, there's some reporting enhancements, mostly for Report Studio. Business Insight, as Jesse mentioned, Business Insight and Business Insight Advanced Tools have been renamed. They're now known as Cognos Workspace and Workspace Advanced, and both have some nice new enhancements. There's a new Style Management Utility, which is a GUI-based tool for designing and customizing themes and skins for your Cognos Connection portal. There are also some new features for those who may host Cognos-based applications. Uh, what IBM terms multi-tenancy. New capabilities around content archival, as well as globalization and language support enhancements. There's a new Cognos configuration validation tool. Cognos Insight 10.2 has a number of improvements, including new visualizations, data import capabilities, and publishing features. And last but not least, the most significant new feature is called Dynamic Cubes, a new in-memory roll-up solution that's included as part of the 10.2 Cognos BI platform. So in terms of architecture, no major changes have been made. Uh, the gateway, the web gateway now supports 64-bit, but 32-bit is still the default mode on the installation. For Unix and Linux platforms, there will no longer be 32-bit versions. The installer kits are also 64-bit programs. Metric Server is now a native 64-bit application, but it will support 32-bit on Windows platforms if necessary. Data Manager is also now available as a 64-bit application. Lifecycle Manager, for those who have used it to do upgrades in the past, has some new features, including the ability to include My Folders content and better manage the deletion of older projects. And finally, support for NTLM as an authentication provider is being dropped, which is really just being consistent with Microsoft's direction. Just to contrast some of the new features of Report Studio, Cognos 10 charting engine is now active by default, where prior versions defaulted to using the legacy chart engine. A macros tab has been added in the expression editor to, editor to more easily include macros that previously had to be manually typed, copied, or pasted. A new prompt API has been developed to help improve on old methods of modifying prompts by hacking the source code. A new static repeater table has been added to the active report toolbox with integrated actions and controls that were previously fairly difficult to implement. And there's some uh, nice improvements around Excel output capabilities. What you see on the screen is a screenshot of the new macros tab, which has been added in the, to the expression editor within Report Studio. Again, this eliminates the need for manual typing of macro functions. For example, those of you who are familiar with including LDAP functions to determine a user or group, macros such as these can now be inserted from a standard library within Report Studio. <coughs> 